What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Michael Thomas and some routes that he ran from this 2019 season. He's probably the best receiver in the league right now, and we're going to break down what makes him so special today, guys. And guys, if you're a wide receiver and you want to improve your football IQ, if you need to get better at reading a defense, recognizing coverages so you can structure your routes better, please check out that link in the description, guys. I just offered a new feature. I'm sure you guys have heard about it on my website. We break down 16 NFL defenses a month. I hope to get you guys signed up soon. Let's get started. So this first route here from Michael Thomas. We're going to watch this thing full speed. Now, this is going to be like a dagger concept, okay? So we got seam up the middle right here, and then we got a dig coming right back underneath, okay? So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take the safety out of the play, and we're trying to hit this dig underneath, okay? So we're going to watch this thing full speed, then we're going to break it down. So he lets him clear, breaks down on this dig. That's the window, okay? That's the window, and then bridge or Breeze or Bridgewater. I'm not sure who is throwing at this point. There's Bridgewater, yep. And so once he clears, once this guy clears and takes out the safety, right, that's the read for the quarterback. So Thomas knows he's going to be getting the ball because this safety's out of the play. That's who we're trying to read right here. Now, Thomas doesn't want to just keep running this dig into coverage, right? He doesn't want to cover himself. That's what a lot of young receivers, the mistake that they make is they don't understand how to sit in zone coverage. And that's why I developed that feature like I was talking about. We break down all kinds of stuff like that. When to recognize zone. Now, when he makes this break on the route, right, he's very aware of where this defender is. He's not just going to keep running into him, okay? So you got the first window, and then past him is the second window. You hear quarterbacks talk a lot about windows, right? So this is the first window. But now, he doesn't just keep running into this route. If it was man coverage, hell yeah, he's going to run this route all the way across the field. Bridgewater's going to buy some time and he's going to hit him. But because it's zone coverage, he settles down in this hole, right? Linebacker's playing the flat. We got this guy right here. We got this linebacker over the middle. We're going to hit this ball. We're going to sit down in the hole. That's what a lot of receivers need to do It is against zone coverage. We can't just keep running into this route and cover ourselves and then Bridgewater's screwed. He doesn't have a read. I'm assuming we've got a running back out into the flat. That's what occupies this linebacker. That's the hole right here. Let's sit in this hole. The safety out of the play, linebackers over the top. This is the window. We're going to be getting the ball. It's a very intelligent route running play by Michael Thomas. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So he waits for the seam to clear, right? Get the safety out of there, snap it down, break down in this hole, settle down in that hole. That's a great job by Michael Thomas. Okay, so an out route versus press, okay? So how can we run an out but we take an inside release, right? This is a common question that I get asked a lot. If a guy's pressing you, how can I run an out route, okay? Maybe he's outside shade. He doesn't want to give up this out. He wants to force you outside, right? He doesn't want to give up this inside. But if we're running an out, sometimes this works. So Thomas does a good job of taking this release. I want to watch it full speed, then we'll break it down. So he comes out full speed. That's what we need to be really persistent about with our routes. Anytime we burst off the line of scrimmage and we get into this route fast, you're going to see in the next clip it's from a different angle what kind of coverage that we're working with or what kind of formation we're working with, I should say. But when he comes off this line, he's just quick. He just gives a little bit of a one-two. Right, left, and he's bursting up into this route. That's how you take an inside release. If you go this right, left, and you're cruising up into this route right here, this DB is going to play you all day. He's going to be able to shuffle with you and press you off the line and break you. That's why making everything look the same off the line of scrimmage is so important. We want to make this guy think we're just running inside right now, maybe going to run a dig, maybe going to run a post, or maybe just continue up on this seam, right? Whatever we're going to do, but we want to make it all look the same. So he comes out very fast, right? DB doesn't have hands on him. Now, when he's working this five yard out here, he knows that his eyes are important. Commits his eyes, commits his shoulders. What that does is that gets this DB to, op to turn this gate to open up the gate, as we like to call it, and to turn and run with him, okay? So he's going to be turning and running with him. Now he just breaks it down two steps in and out of this break. That's what a lot of guys, the mistake that they make, guys. When they make a break like this on a five-yard out, they beat the drum, and they take one, two, three, four, five steps right here. All that does is that allows this DB to recover, okay? But what else Michael Thomas does is when he drops down one, two, very explosive pad level position, he swats the back arm of this DB, swats the back of his shoulder, as you can see. That's a point of control, right? And now this isn't pass interference because the ball isn't in the air, right? Within this five-yard range, swats the back of his shoulder. That's a point of control. Back of the shoulder, back of the arm, back of the elbow. That's where we need to attack as a receiver. One, two, and now as you can see, he's driving off of this inside leg or this outside leg right here. So snaps down, drives off this inside leg to push him out flat, okay? That's what's going to get him some acceleration at this route. That's gonna, what's going to help him explode at the top of this route. And that third step, so one, two, three, opens his hips up to the route, okay? So that's what we do. When we step to this route, we got to open up our hips with that third step. Two steps to get into the route, open up with the third step, and now you can see he's running out of the break. That's the last part of any route, guys. 
We got the stem, we got the breakdown, and then we got the acceleration out of the route. There's three parts of the route, right? This is a great example of him accelerating out of the break, not letting this guy recover because he had violent hands, stopped right on a dime. That's what we have to do anytime we take an inside release and we run an out route. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So one, two, full speed. Eyes will tell lies, guys. Get your eyes inside. That's a great way to get separation. This is another example of it. So as you can see here, Bridgewater's in an empty formation, right? Under center, usually that means that we want to get this ball out of our hands fast, right? It looks like they're showing pressure. It looks like it's man coverage. Obviously, man coverage up at the top right here. So Bridgewater does a great job getting it out fast, but Thomas does a, good, a better job of getting into this route fast and recognizing what the situation is. Get off the line fast. Doesn't waste a ton of time off the line and sells like he's just going inside right now. Now to get this DB to open the gate. Okay, so now this is going to be an example of how to be physical at the top of the route and what you need to do against man coverage off the line of scrimmage. So let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So quick little speed release right there engages contact. We're going to talk about that too, and that's how you really get away with kind of almost a push off there. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily call it a push off, but we're going to talk about it. So. As you can see, he realizes he has to get into this route fast. He's not going to waste a whole bunch of time off the line of scrimmage because he knows it's a man coverage situation, right? DB's sitting man. He wants to engage him. It looks like he's going to press him, right? So I don't want to waste too much time here, pick my pad level up, and get popped off the line of scrimmage. I just want to give a quick jab to the inside. We call this a speed release, right? Quick jab, pushing outside, pushing vertical, full speed. Now, what does this DB do? He takes a good first step. He steps wide. He's not just going to open up the gate and let him turn and run, right? He keeps a good base, and he wants to press him off the line he wants to be physical as you can see he's using both hands trying to jam him off this line of scrimmage bigger guy like michael thomas dbs are gonna want to be physical so if you're a bigger receiver you get a kind of a bigger size db right he's probably going to be want to be more physical and especially if you're a smaller receiver and you're getting pressed you're gonna have some physical defenders trying to knock you off this line of scrimmage so we got to have a plan for our hands and this is a great example of michael thomas having a plan for his hands now what does he do off the line of scrimmage his eyes are on the defender i see too many receivers make a release and they'll make a jab here and their eyes turn okay and it's easy to do because when you're working drill work you really want to emphasize working shoulder movement so you take your eyes off and you don't have the defender right you always want to keep your eyes straight forward. Thomas does a great job of that, and something so little like that can really help because we want to see the attack. We don't want to not see it, right? It's like boxing. The, the shots that knock you out are the shots that you don't see, right? When you see a shot coming, it usually probably won't knock you out. So we've got to be able to see this shot coming and see what he does. Engages with both of these hands, this DB, but what does Thomas do? He has a plan. Always got to have a plan for your hands, and that just comes from reps upon reps upon reps. If you were smart, you would work with the offensive line and have them just try to get hands on you all the time. Try to act like a defensive lineman have them try to get hands on you and you work your hand technique that's a great way to work it it just comes from reps so he does a great job of engaging his hands and you can see he's violent when he swats him down that's what we need to do we engage the contact don't let his hands get inside of our frame right his hands are outside of our frame he didn't get inside of our shoulder pads they're outside of our frame swats him off and now he's in a bad position michael thomas best receiver in the nfl db has no hands on him right but he still plays it good he's in a good position to make a play now tom Thomas is looking back for this ball when he's got him by about a couple steps. Now, he's expecting this back shoulder. He knows I don't got him over the top. So he knows that Breeze or whoever's throwing him this ball, might be Bridgewater, is going to try to put this thing back shoulder, right? So ball's coming back shoulder. This is what I was talking about, how to get away with the push-off. He's not necessarily pushing him off. He's just swatting his hands, okay? Now, he's not pushing him by but he's attacking the back of this arm to get his hands off referees watch him right here didn't throw a flag and the ball's coming back shoulder that's a great job reacting to it that's a way to get off of a push up very subtle movement attack the back of his elbow to get his hands off of you go up for this thing that's a great job by michael thomas working this fade let's watch this thing full speed one more time so speed release, see the attack, have a plan for your hands, expect the back shoulder. That's going to be a recipe for a good play from this receiver. Let's watch it full speed. Speed release, have a plan for your hands, violent with your hands, expect the back shoulder, swat him by. It's a great job by Michael Thomas. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave in the comments any questions you guys have or who you would like to see me break down next. I really appreciate that, and I'll see you guys next time.